Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You know my guest tonight from Superbad, Pineapple Express, and Longshot. He has just written a new book called Yearbook. Please welcome back to A Late Show, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, thanks for being here, man. Thank you so much for having me. So good to be here. Congratulations on the I'm book. Not well, yeah, this, is, so <laughs> this is as much this is as much as anyone has ever with anyone anymore good. until things improve. <laughs> Last time you were here, which was 2019, I guess, yeah. you had just launched uh, a comp. What's the name of your uh, cannabis-related company there? It's called Houseplant. Houseplant. You launched it in Canada, your native Canada, but since yes. then it has launched in the United States. How was it? How has it been received? How was the launch? Um, it, it was our website crashed uh, instantaneously uh, several times <laughs> throughout our launch day. Uh -huh. um, our our products are generally selling out um, within several hours. <laughs> our home goods we sell home goods, um, ashtrays, uh, table lighters, things like that um, that are yeah. very beautifully designed. Um, yes. Truthfully, we had no idea if people would want this stuff or not, but thank God they did, um, and we should have made more of it, and we're going to now. <laughs> well, now that you are now that you are uh, not just a user uh, or enjoyer, user sounds a little bit like you're booting horse. Now, <laughs> exactly. Now, now that you're uh, now that you're not just an enthusiast, but also a no. distributor, has mm -hmm. it changed your relationship with uh, uh, cannabis? Um, I'd say it strengthened it, if anything. Um, it's nice to be able to express myself through another product, you know? Um, and honestly, I feel like I can. Like, I feel like through the, honestly, through the packaging and through the the, the identity of the company and through the, the weed that we are selling to people, I really feel like it is an extension of, of who I am and, and it is very lovely to share with people. <laughs> well, I, I want to be very clear to everyone at CBS Brass right now watching that I'm not encouraging people to go no. to this website, but I am curious, how can you literally order weed online? Yes, um, if you're in if you're in Los Angeles uh, right now, you can go to Houseplant and and uh, you and we will deliver you weed. Yeah. And again, we're not <laughs> we're not telling people to do that. We're po I'm just asking you if that is a legal thing to do. That is a legal thing to do in in California. You can try in other states. It won't they we, it won't let you do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are, any plans to expand? Very much so. We'd love to expand. What about um, New York? I New York, the big city of dreams. It's legal in New York now too. That would be great. I, I, as soon as the infrastructure is up and running, then we, we would love to sell weed to the people of New York very, very much. <laughs> Another thing that you have been uh, renowned for, uh, which we talked about the last time you were on the show, was your pottery. Uh, yeah. I've been a big fan ever since. It was just kind of like, you know, uh, pinch pots, <laughs> uh, yeah. ashtrays. But you have really kicked it up a notch. I've really enjoyed uh, seeing your uh, your. Is it your Instagram feed? Is that where I've seen these this year? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's exactly where. Okay, it is. show yeah. me. Do you have any there? Some beautiful glazing I work. I have a few here. This is one that I've made. Um, it's a. Uh, this is a purple vase. Oh, that's that gorgeous. Is... Now is that is that Thank a is you. that a smooth glaze just with a uh, a profile it to it? Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> It's layers of underglaze, and then on top of it is a gloopy glaze that I've actually made myself uh, because I took a, a glaze making workshop where I learned the chemistry of uh, glaze making. This is a similar one where I did a similar thing, but in blue. But yeah, that is, it's layered. That is, I would love that one. Are these for sale? Um, no, but if you want one, I'll send you one. I send them to people that I, I would like. That, so, yeah, I would like that. Have one. I would, how about that one? Could I have that blue one? You sure can. It's yours. I'll send it to you. Some, some lovely flower. It would go beautifully on my on my bookshelf right here. It would. Yeah. yeah I just started making mugs. These are the first mugs I've made. Um, and there, uh, there's some uh, red ones. Now I know. Th I know that on uh, what's it called? House plant. On house plant, yes. you can actually buy things like ashtrays and stuff. Are they inspired by your ceramic work, or are they totally independent? They are. I actually designed the ashtrays that uh, some of the ashtrays that we sell. These are some of the ones. I, I kind of like envisioned this type of like cup ashtray with a little. Mm -hmm. like notch here, um, which was very much based uh, off of my needs. These are a couple that I've made. Um, that, Beautiful. Uh, are, yeah, and I've, I also have made these glazes. You've also, you've had, you've had what you're describing as not a, not a feud with Ted Cruz. Okay. I mean. It's not a feud. Yeah. Uh, you've said, you've said, he has said that you're, you know, he said that you're basically, you're a rich, angry Hollywood celebrity. And yeah. you said, if you're a white supremacist fascist who doesn't find it offensive when someone calls your wife ugly, Ted Cruz is exactly 
is the exact <laughs> for you. Now, yeah. so it's not a feud. It's just a, just passing harsh judgment. Well, I guess feud, I guess feud implies equal ground. And, I, and maybe this is something that Hatf like- Hatfields and McCoys, that sort of thing. Yeah, like if, if, if someone's trying to like murder someone with a baseball bat and someone's yelling at that person to stop, is that a feud between the baseball bat wielder and the person yelling at the baseball bat wielder? Uh -huh. I don't know if that's a feud. I think feud, feud implies two people hitting each other with baseball bats. I'm like, Ted Cruz- is a fascist. He is. He denies the reality of the election. His words caused people to die, and I'm making jokes about it. Is that a feud? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to me, it doesn't seem like a feud. To me, it seems like I'm pointing out the fact that he is a, a terrible man whose uh, words have resulted in death. You know, um, and and I guess to me, it, yeah, like. I mean, it speaks to what I think is a bigger problem in America, which is like a false equivalency. And I think even I, I was going to use the term between the right and the left, which makes it seem like two appendages of the same creature, which right. I don't think it is. I think one is... A, one is one is a creature and the other is just trying to stop it from destroying the country and so i don't know if like uh, is that is that a feud i don't know is that are those two things on the same level like and i and i agree that like i think it's easy to say like that maybe the left feels ineffective in comparison to how they should but it's like when you're it's like if you were playing baseball against a team and like you're trying to get a lot of runs and the other team is trying to bludgeon you to death. Like, is is it is it like is it shocking that you're not scoring as many runs as maybe you should be scoring? Like, no, the, the other team's just trying to beat you to death with baseball bats, you know? I I, I like that metaphor. I want I wanna I wanna uh I wanna <laughs> it's America's pastime, that metaphor. What I, exactly. what I what I'm curious about, just listen to hear you talk, is that have you ever gotten high with uh, someone with whom you share no uh, uh, political philosophies? In other words, do you think you could get high with Ted Cruz and that would be beneficial to him? Are there a lot of far right? It would be beneficial to with? him because it, it would be beneficial to him because it would be humanizing him in some way to, to to hang out with me. I would imagine, but no, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I've tried, honestly. There are people in my life who held the beliefs that uh, uh, that hold the beliefs that Ted Cruz uh, holds, and I really tried to engage with them um, throughout the last year, and. Ultimately, it was uh, horrifying, <laughs> and um, and 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 truly, I felt like uh, it, it, I, 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 there is nothing I could convey that would re uh, reframe this person's reality as they viewed it, you know. And so, no, it's like when I was on your show before, and I wouldn't take a picture uh, with Paul Ryan. Like I, I, I don't, that. I don't think associate. I don't think like being nice to Ted Cruz. <laughs> For me, like I don't think that would be a positive thing for 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 the world. It would be good for him. <laughs> uh, Seth, we have to take a quick break, uh, but stick around. When we come back, I'm going to ask him about uh, a very high level meeting he had with one Mr. Thomas Cruz.